Hey everyone, my name is Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you how to like and retweet tweets using the uh, V2 Twitter API. So this is going to be the final video of three um, about how to make a Twitter bot with Node.js and uh, the, the, vid the V2 Twitter API. So if you haven't already, uh, you will need to go through this first one. This has got a video and a blog post and this is just setting up everything with our Twitter bot, uh, you know, with the keys and tokens and stuff like that. Uh, so this one will very much um, take off from where that one uh, finished. So let's get into it. All right, so as always, we'll make our way through uh, this blog post here and we'll do it together. Uh, so the first, well, it's before step one here, but uh, further look at the documentation. So this is gonna be the last video that I'm gonna do on making Twitter bots. Um, but after this, you can go to the documentation and you can have a look at, you know, the different things you can do and, you know, uh, work it out how to do it with the documentation. So we've already done create a tweet. Uh, today, we're going to be doing like a tweet, retweet a tweet. But if there's other things that you want to do, you can just find them here. So, for example, delete a tweet. It comes down here and it just gives you the code. Uh, so I'm not going to do a video for every single one of these ones, but... Yeah, hopefully after this video and watching this series, you'll be able to do uh, whatever you want. Uh, so that is the documentation here. But yeah, let's move on to step one. So step one is going to be searching for tweets. So before we can like tweets and retweet tweets, uh, we have to search for them and figure out their, uh, their, their tweet ID. So I'll just copy this code over here and I'll jump over to the code. So actually what I might do, I'll make a new function here called search and I'll delete this one here and I'll just come back and I'll put this one in here. Cool. So um, yeah, in this function here, well, it's called the search, search function. Uh, this time we're using the Twitter bearer. So remember, when we created our Twitter client, we created uh, a client and I called mine a bearer. Um, we're gonna use the bearer to search for tweets and then the client to actually, you know, write and, uh, you know, retweet tweets and like tweets, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we're gonna use the bearer to search and in here I've got a string. So I've got hashtag where taken their work. So I'm looking for a certain type of tweet. So if I take this one here, and actually let's go to Twitter. And I put this one in here. So I know with my personal Twitter bot, um, it always says there were because it tweets out the previous photo and the stats, and it's always got the hashtag where taken in it. So it's got this one here. So I know when I search for this, uh, it's going to come up with the, the tweets that I want. So let's do that one. And yeah, let's just console log the tweets. So we will stop this one here. And instead of tweeting, we will not like search. And we'll run this one. Uh, what's happened here? I've just forgotten to bring in this one. Cool. So we have essentially searched for the most recent 10 tweets that fit that criteria. So if we go up, up to the top here, so this one says there were 228 were taking plays yesterday, Fiji, Maldives, United States. Um, and... It's this first one here. And if we go to the second one, you know, United Kingdom, France, Italy, 561. Um, I'll go to the latest. Yeah, United Kingdom, France, Italy, you know, 561. So it's finding those tweets, um, essentially, you know, how we would do it through the search function here. Um, so that is how you search for tweets. And if we wanted to like tweets, we'll jump back to the blog post and we'll come down to step two. So we essentially just have to call this method here. So uh, the client, so in our case, ours is Twitter client.v2.like, uh, and then we put in our app ID 
and the tweet ID. So the tweet ID was, um, we came back with this list of tweets here. So we've got the, the ID here and our app ID we loaded in in the previous tutorial. So that should be in your .env file uh, and it is uh, this one here with all your tokens and stuff like that. Um, cool, so what we might do, we'll go over to index.js and I'm gonna change the name of this one to like and then I can, well, I might just grab the code from here. So I'll put this one here. So essentially what we're doing, we're searching for, you know, the latest tweets with this, um, you know, using these parameters here. And then it's gonna iterate through all of those tweets here. And it's gonna like each individual one uh, coming from our app and the tweet, using the tweet ID. So if I save that one, and I'll stop that one and I'll run this one. Cool, so if I jump back to Twitter and I refresh its page. Cool, so you can see that this has been liked by me. So if I, you know, go into this next one here, and three likes, uh, it's liked by, well, there's my actual personal um, Twitter account. Uh, but yeah, this is the one the sort of the dummy one that I'm using for this uh, tutorial. Um, yeah, so if we go back, uh, it's liked, you know, all of these ones. So that's what we wanted. So the last thing we wanna do is to retweet a tweet. So let's jump back to the blog post here and come down to retweet a tweet. Uh, so retweeting a tweet is very similar to liking a tweet. So as you can see here, you know, we just call the v2.retweet. Uh, up here, we just called v2.like. Uh, and this one also takes in the, the app ID and the tweet ID. So what I'll do is I'll copy this one here and, and we'll jump back to our app. Um, so yeah, so we're su still searching for the tweet. So we're gonna get a an array of tweets, um, you know, when we pass this string in here. And this one here is just gonna get the first tweet ID. So it's just gonna go to the first um, tweet of that array of tweets. Uh, and then it's gonna go ahead and retweet that tweet. So I'll comment out this one here and we'll do retweet. And if all goes to plan, uh, that should retweet one of the where taken uh, tweets. So if we jump back over here and we go uh, to the profile, Cool, so as you can see, it retweeted this one. So um, it's the latest one. So this one tweets every hour. This one was 20 hours ago and, and it's retweeted it. Um, so that is essentially it. And that brings us to the end of the uh, tutorial series of um, how to make a Twitter bot. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this series. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, thank you.